Hi, my name is Greg Henderson from Unofficial Use Only. We're here in the Quadratech booth and we're showing off the JTE. So this idea was kind of a brainchild of myself and one of the Quadratech guys, Eric Hammerman. We actually had three different ideas and this is the one we landed on so that it helped promote tread lightly more than the other builds that we came up with. If you look at the front of the JTE here in the Quadratech booth, you'll see we used a lot of Quadratech products. Um, the bumpers, both front and rear. The front is exactly how you'd get it out of the, the catalog. Uh, the rear has a lot of fab work to it, but the brand new Rescue winch. We've got um, their winch line, their soft shackles. Then as you get into the front, you start seeing that it's a little bit custom. We have custom paint, because originally this was white. We've got some custom colors. So Quadratech is green, gold, and white. So we did green and bronze to kind of tie in the gold. And we'll see the white. In the Rubicon lead name and lettering, you'll notice your first hint that this is not a normal one because it's got that blue, and the blue is the electric blue, because this is a hybrid. Custom badging, JTE. And then as you kind of get down, back here, we start to notice things are not stock, and even these, so there's a lot of custom work to these to make them fit. There's a, those are the factory Rubicon rock rails. As we get into the interior, where everybody's gonna sit and live when they're driving this around, we've got these beautiful catskin seats. Uh, we did, Alpine Dash, so it's the Alpine Restyle Kit, and then there's a little bit of custom color, but the uh, this is Quadratech Light Bar, so the interior's almost exactly how it would be from the factory, just with a, a couple little touches to blend with the rest of the vehicle. As you get further back, that's when all the kind of magic happens, from the bob, the stretch, the cut, the roll cage, um, so this was Everything on the bed had to be custom. Nothing could be normal because it's a different length. So I had to stretch this. Um, underneath, there's a frame extension. So the frame and the chassis on this 4xE are 100% factory. Other than the tail end of the frame, I had to make an extension to pick up the back of the bed. Um, the bumper, this is off of a JL, and I had to graft it and reshape it to fit the JT and to house the hidden under bed winch so that they can drag all that garbage up off the trail. Uh, I mean, that's, that's the really short version of everything I did.